Charles and Brown's Pop Goes Cracking Today about to react to this video it's titled Kenneth Petty Ready to Put Paws on Safari after he crashed Nicki Minaj's concert and Nicki humiliates him. Crash our concert? How you crash a concert? Did he pay or not? <laughs> if he paid to get in, then what's the problem? He was a concert goer. But if he snuck in, that's a different situation. But let's see what happens. Let's watch. Okay, you guys. So get into this. So Nicki Minaj's mm -hmm. ex Safari called himself crashing and showing up at Nicki Minaj's concert. And I think he got way more than he bargained for. So he even documented his outfit on his YouTube channel. Like oh, he was not really vlogging excited the concert. about going to Nicki's Shut concert. Up. And I'm like, looking through the globe and seeing what I'm going to wear. Oh, he looked at the club. It would be right. I think I would be doing this world a disservice if I didn't wear something that is stuck with me for years. I did it once and um, I'm gonna do it again. So far. Even to this day, people, I don't know, they think they're bullying me, but they think they're they're I'm gonna embrace, I'm gonna embrace my history. And I- Not your history. I had three minutes on, three minutes on, three minutes on, three minutes on, what is he talking about? Your jacket looks great. Right. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about, but every right. woman in here is gonna like that. Please, you you want a jean vest? I presume to you the jean vest. And when he got there, he was turned up. He was singing all of Nikki's songs, having fun interacting with the period with the DIY mess. He cut that right on up in the kitchen and brought it to the concert. And I mean, he even stood in the middle of the aisle doing his own little concert, singing Nikki's lyrics. I mean, to me, he was doing the most. But it seemed like oh, in that part, the debate is whether Nikki saw him. I first. mean, I'm thinking of it from my my point of view. I would fucking never. <laughs> If I was in a relationship with somebody, it ended. Especially if they broke up with me, child. Like, I'm not about to come and support you publicly. And you don't even talk to me at all anymore. You don't fuck with me. Because last we heard, she was threatening him on, on Twitter and talking shit about him. And saying that he was scared when, you know, they ran into each other or something like that. So, it's like, it's it's not giving support. It seems like you're just doing this for clout or you're doing this to antagonize her. Because, what? Y'all are not cool at all. It's not even like, oh, y'all are done and... You know, once y'all separate, where once y'all separate ways, and it's no um, beef. It's like no, there's smoke there. <laughs> there's lingering smoke, and you showed up at the damn concert, and you want to vlog it. Let's give a cloud chaser. Nah, he's so me goofy. Personally, I think she saw him. Now I want y'all to take a look at these clips and listen to what she's saying. Now I know some of the and you also taking attention away from her and her concert for people to be like, oh wait, that's Safari. Like that's you know. That's, that's definitely, you know, bringing a lot of attention to yourself at a concert that ain't about you. So. So I'm saying that some of this stuff, this is what she normally says during her concert anyways. But y'all take a listen. Now I want y'all to listen very closely because the fans also were saying things to Safari. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he got a bodyguard? He, he, he knew the barbers would jump. He got protection. That made him leave. And as you can see, 
safari couldn't even stay there the rest of the concert. I think it was the conviction for me, but that's what happens when you mess up the way safari did. Now it's even being alleged that that's why Nikki brought her husband on stage oh. and gave him a little dancey dance because she knew safari was in the crowd. Now, I really do think she saw him because she made a comment about they spend the rest of their lives stalking you. And then after the show, Nikki and Kenny went live and you can hear Kenny saying, let's walk around, let's walk around. Pay close attention to what Kenny is saying and his body language. Take a look. Y'all. He always lurking in the bag. Like, we get it, we got each other. <laughs> Makeup again in less than two minutes or less than five minutes. But shout out to Miami, they are amazing. Hurry up, let's do the bottom, y'all. All right, you guys. Yes, that was that's what happened. It was so hot. And um, you guys, yes, that that's what happened. It was so hot. And um, we had a makeup artist today, and you know when it's when the makeup is wet, you can't touch it with a sponge. So she made a mistake and did that. But we we out here. We getting this whole show done. Plus a surprise. Oh my surprise. God. I 100% again think that Nikki knew because why would Kenny be acting like that? You can even see in his body language he was very hostile. You could tell he was ready for whatever. But that's why Safari does not need to go to another concert of Nicki Minaj's unless she invites him personally, which I don't think she will ever do. But do you guys think Safari was wrong for popping up in Nikki's concert? Yes, Unvited leave this lady alone. Nikki knew he was it's there. done. That's all I have for you. You fumbled her, okay? You messed up, all right? She's never going to deal with you ever again. She realizes that you were a clown. And she's, she's done with the circus. Well, is she done with the circus? Listen, these men that she picked, <laughs> from Safari to Meek Mill to, to this Kenneth man, whatever, it's her life. I gotta date these people. Do what you want, girl. But it, it's crazy that she had the message about, oh, when you date clowns and you realize you were so much better after, it's like, this man doesn't seem, he seems unhinged. So I hope he's treating her well and she's happy because something is seriously off with him. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you want to watch and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.